Hello, I am here with Shama Smolik. All righty, and I have a question for you. Is that okay? Yeah. What do you do to demonstrate that you are a good leader? I try to listen. Uh, everybody can talk. Attorneys, lawyers, city council members, they like to talk, but not everybody can listen. And you have to be willing to listen and see if the other person has a point that you might not have thought of before. And admit when you're wrong. That is such an insightful answer. You get a shirt. Thank you. Thank you I think much. everyone needs to take his advice. Yeah. I agree. Be a good leader. Today I'm here with Christy Walsh. Nice to meet you, Mrs. Walsh. Um, today our prize question, money question is, what do you do today to show that you're a good leader? I lead by example. Um, I'm supervisor here at the rec center. I try to make sure that my um, employees here are always courteous and always welcome people into the center. And then if somebody needs help, that they help them to the best of their ability. I also teach Scottish dance here, so obviously when you're teaching dance, you have to lead um, for people to learn something new. So um, I'm hoping that the young people are inspired in the future to teach dance. And then if they're here at the rec center, that they get inspired by our programs, art. And we don't, ha and we have a top program, so obviously we're starting at a young age and then we go up, so. Thank you so much for your time, Mrs. Walsh. Here you are. So you've, all, you've earned it. Hello, I'm here with Kelly Urbano O'Neill. And what do you do to show leadership in the community? Uh, let's see, in Akron, I think what I do, I'm more of uh, somebody who takes direction rather than leads, but I guess uh, one thing I do is I try to do a lot of volunteering, try to get my daughter involved in volunteering, um, try to lead by example and do things and be around people that I normally wouldn't be. Uh, that's good. That's good. You get a shirt. <laughs> Thank you. Hello. I am here with Ray Thomas. Okay. Now, what do you do to demonstrate that you're a good leader? I'm a uh, retired educator with uh, at Columbus Public Schools and Akron Public Schools, and I'm doing my retirement planning um, in regards to I don't like the crime in regards to black on black crime, and y'all have not settled stuff like to our satisfaction about the black community of Akron about Jalen Walker. Wow, wow. Thank you so much for that answer. Here you go, you get a shirt. Huh? All right, today I'm here with Mike Alexander. I'm district chief of the Akron Fire Department. Congratulations. Thank today you. I'm here to ask you our prize question, question of the day. What do you do today to show that you're a good leader? Uh, to show that I'm a good leader, I try to lead by example. Uh, actually, I've used that in a lot of my interviews throughout my uh, career. And, uh, you know, every day I try to, I don't want to be one of those leaders that says I'm going to lead by, I don't want to say I want to, you know, do as I say, not as I did. Uh, I like to lead, always lead by example, you know, always be uh, kind and, and, you know, to the community, to the public, and uh, try to lead that way. Yes, sir. Actions speak louder than words. Definitely Thank do. you so very much for your time. Thank you. Here you are. Appreciate it. Thank you. Hello, I'm here with. Hi, I'm Rusty Love. What do you do in this community that makes you a leader? I'm a real estate investor and I uh, provide real estate for just about everybody. Um, single family, uh, college students, doctors I've had, you know, just about everybody. Do, would you say getting into real estate is hard? Um, uh, yes, it is, but it's something that you can do if you, you know, if you put your mind to it. I just got lucky during the housing crisis and I was able to buy low and, and uh, then you got to be handy too so yeah. well thank you okay